Asante sana. Well, we're celebrating one of the greatest things that uh, has possibly happened since the onset of COVID, at least for the African continent. And to this end, Mr. Bansel, we want to express our gratitude to you and the entire Moderna team for everything that uh, you have done and the support that you have given to make this day a reality. We all know the challenges that Kenya and indeed the entire continent of Africa went through in the earlier stages of this pandemic, a situation that resulted in Africa being left behind, not because of want, but because of lack. And Moderna has come in to fill that space. We are truly grateful, truly grateful for this. And I think this will be transformative, not just in helping us with the current pandemic, but also preparing the African continent for future pandemics. And I think this is what is most important. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Dr. John Gengasaw, somebody who I have worked very closely with over the last few years as we have tackled this COVID pandemic. Thank you for the support that uh, we have received from you and uh, your team at Africa CDC. We wish you every success and look forward to continuing to work to you, with, with you as you pursue further uh, uh, um, objectives and as you move into new positions uh, going forward. I would also like to thank the American government. The American government has also been very supportive to Kenya, to Africa, not only to make this day happen, but also in the support that they have given us in donations of vaccines at a time when they were critically needed here in Kenya and across the continent. And I think this is the kind of partnership that shows what true friends are all about, and we appreciate and are very grateful for that. I really look forward that our teams going forward will now be able to take this memorandum of understanding that we are signing today and pushing it and making it a reality in the shortest possible time. I want to assure you that Kenya will do everything that we can to ensure that we smooth the way and we get this project up and running the shortest possible time so that its impact can be felt not only in Kenya but across the continent. I thank all the teams from the Ministry of Health, all the teams from Moderna and everybody else who has been involved in this for making this dream a reality, a reality that will help improve the health of the people of this continent. And this is something to me I have dreamed of and waited for, and I just want to congratulate you all. Thank you all very much. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. This is part of guaranteeing the continent's health security. We've learned lessons, not so much good lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic, that unless and until the continent is equipped with the ability to manufacture vaccines, therapeutics, and diagnostics will continue to be very vulnerable. Stefan, you recall that on April the 14th, last year we had a, a, a vaccine manufacturing summit, which you were part of that. And the African Union called for all of us to work together in partnership to make sure that by the year 2040, the continent produces at least 60% of its vaccines. We currently only produce 1% of our vaccines. So it is truly an honor to represent the African Union as part of Africa CDC in this historic day. We believe strongly at the African Union that manufacturing of vaccines, diagnostics, and therapeutics is indispensable for us to guarantee Africa's health sovereignty. The COVID-19 has taught us that this is a disease outbreaks are a serious economic, a serious health, and a serious security threat, and are probably at national security threat. As a continent, we've embraced 
that we need to engage in a new public health order. That speaks to the need to manufacture vaccines, strengthen our national public health institutions, beef up our workforce development, develop partnership with the private sector. And on this, I'd really like to congratulate Kenya because Just Excellency, a few weeks ago, you announced the creation of the National Public Health Institute, which is part of the new public health order that the continent is embracing. And today we are here to witness the launch of a potentially game changer for the continent, which is vaccine manufacturing on the continent. So those are two elements already of a new public health order that the continent has embraced. Excellency, you are also the host of the Regional Center, Collaborating Center for Africa CDC. So we are also very excited that as a regional center, we will be able to support this initiative going forward. You can count on all of us, Excellencies, and the CEO of Moderna as the African Union to accompany you in this remarkable journey to guarantee the health security of Africa. I thank you so much.